everyone, it's Michelle Caruana from Play Cafe Academy and Profitable Play. And I am so excited for today's video because not only are we talking about one of my favorite topics, which is marketing, we're actually going to get into one of the most underutilized and quite honestly misunderstood marketing tactics for any business that advertises or sells their products and services online, which it's 2022, that's going to be pretty much every single business. But in this video, we're specifically going to get into strategies for indoor playgrounds, play cafes, and really any local service-based business. So even if you don't have a physical location, or even if you are not quite yet open, this video is still for you, and it is so important. And while I do have a lot of knowledge and technical skill when it comes to today's topic, which, spoiler alert, is search engine optimization, or more often referred to as SEO, I really thought it would be best to bring in a guest expert for today's topic because I can talk about the importance of search engine optimization until I'm blue in the face, but sometimes you just need to hear it from another perspective. So today's guest expert is actually the former marketing executive director from Pump It Up, which is an indoor playground franchise. So she was in charge of marketing for every single franchise location. So not only does she know exactly what she's doing when it comes to marketing, and in this episode, again, we're specifically going to be talking about search engine optimization, but she knows this industry. She knows this business, and she knows exactly what it takes to improve your search engine optimization. Now, just to give you a quick little review, search engine optimization is essentially making small changes to your website that's going to improve your Google search ranking. So when somebody types in first birthday party, Buffalo, New York, we want your website and your party booking page to float right to the top. So this is actually just a short clip of the full guest expert training, which is only available for my Playmaker Society members. So before we get into the guest expert interview, real quick as a refresher, my Playmaker Society program is my group coaching program that is meant for current owners or anyone who has gone through my Play Cafe Academy program and really wants to put their business on the fast track to success and profitability. So if you would like the full guest expert training, the links to Playmaker Society and Play Cafe Academy are all below this video in the description. So you can learn more about that as you tune into this guest expert training. But what I really loved about Rachel's guest expert interview is not only does she talk about the importance of search engine optimization when it comes to online visibility and all that good stuff, she also directly relates it to sales and she gives some really powerful examples. And in this guest expert interview clip, we also talk about why you should be prioritizing search engine optimization above Reels and TikTok and exactly why that is. And we're going to talk about the intent of somebody kind of passively scrolling through social media versus somebody who is actively searching for a solution or a service via a search engine. So I am so excited for today's video. I hope you find it really helpful. And again, don't forget, this is just an eight minute clip from a one hour long training. So if you want the exact how to steps of how to improve your search engine optimization, whether you are just getting started or whether you've been in this business for 10 years, all of the links are below this video. So if you're looking to get into blogging, which is one of the ways Rachel recommends improving your search engine ranking or SEO, I have a blogging checklist to make sure that you are very intentional with your strategy and no second of your time blogging is going to go to waste if you follow this checklist. So again, there are three big takeaways that I want you to really keep in mind as you listen to Rachel's words because she is brilliant. So Number one, search engine optimization means increased traffic to your website without any paid forms of advertising, not just right now. So anytime you have a viral reel or a really good social media post, yeah, you might see a temporary spike in traffic, but search engine optimization is meant to yield long-term results. So it's going to be working for your business in the background long after the effort that you put into improving it is over. So I love the long-term sustainability of a powerful search engine optimization strategy. And then the second, I want you to really keep in mind what I just mentioned about 
the intent of different customers as they're kind of on different online platforms. So what is the intent of somebody as they're scrolling through Instagram versus what is somebody's intent as they're actually searching for a service or a solution via Google? And then I also want you to think of what all of this increased traffic and what this improved Google search engine ranking can do for your sales and your bottom line. And honestly, how it can prevent burnout because as business owners, especially local business owners, if you have physical locations or are super booked out, it can be so easy to feel like you need to do all of the things when it comes to marketing. And that's one of the reasons why I love search engine optimization because a lot of times it's very small efforts that lead to long-term sustainable results well after you put the effort in. So I'm so excited for you to meet Rachel. And again, if you want the full guest expert training as well as done for you blog content and really almost a done for you search engine optimization strategy, I want you to head to the description of this video and check out Playmaker Society, check out my free blogging checklist. And I hope you continue learning with us and I hope you continue and really learn about search engine optimization and how it can impact your business and profitability, which is what my channel is all about. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video or a tip like this. And I also have a podcast, which I will also link in the video description. All right, without further ado, here is Rachel. So really what you wanna focus on is create great content, build links to that content. Because the more that you become a resource for your customer, so the parent who's looking for something to do with their kid, the parent who's looking for somewhere to host a birthday party, the more you have resources related to them, the more Google is going to show you. And how does that matter? Why does that matter? So when we look at the search results and we see on any page, we get 10 results. And Google's tested different things over the years, but they've settled at 10. So we get 10 results. Nobody goes to page two, which means you've got to be on page one. 99.7% of people only ever go to page one. Right. So don't, if you're on page two, I, I'm not being mean. It just, it doesn't count. Nobody's going to see you. So even moving up one or two spots can make a big difference. The number one position generally gets, depending on the study, 34 to 37% of the traffic. So that position number one listing, if there are a thousand searches, they're going to get 340 to 370 visits a month from that one keyword. And that's somebody who's looking for that information. They're actively searching for it. So now if you're like the Montessori preschool and you have 10 of those, now we have three, you know, 340 times 10, we have 3,400 visits a month from people who are looking for exactly what we offer. We're not trying to interrupt them. We're not trying to market to them somewhere else. We don't have to dance. We don't have to lip sync. We don't have to do any of that. They're actively looking for what we have. So position number one is where we want to be. One, two, and three get a combined 60% of the traffic. So 600 out of 1,000 people will visit positions one, two, and three. Four through 10 get the remaining traffic. So you can see, you know, if you can get to position 10 and you can update your optimization or you can create a new blog post or something and you can target and bring yourself to five and then get yourself to three and then get yourself to one, you can see huge incremental growth. This is where you get traffic. You get better quality leads because they're searching for what you sell. They're coming right to you. It's the easy SEO is your way to tell Google who to send straight to your website. Like, I want to write every blog post I possibly can on content marketing and SEO and building my business as an entrepreneur because every single blog post that I write is an opportunity to be found by new customers on Google. Absolutely. And I, I love what you brought up about the difference between somebody that's very passively scrolling on social media and might come across a post about, a birthday party mm -hmm. and their kind of intent and their likelihood to make a booking right then and there versus somebody who is actively searching for place to host a three-year-old birthday party in Buffalo, New York. Yeah. So something that comes up a lot with my members and my customers or my students is 
they don't have a ton of time to spend on marketing or they're really mm-hmm. trying to prioritize. So 10 times out of 10, I always recommend to prioritize for those people who have a much higher intent and a much higher likelihood to actually make a conversion. And anybody that's listening to this, we calculate our page conversion rates all the time. So I love that you brought up specific numbers because they're hopefully doing the math in their head and saying, okay, I know that 5% of people who visit my birthday page Mm -hmm. actually make a booking. And if I can get 3,400 more visits from people who are honestly might even have a higher conversion rate than your standard 5% because they're actively searching. So they're what we would call like a hot potential lead or a potential customer. Hopefully you guys listening are doing the math in your head and saying, oh my gosh, that could result in, you know, oh my gosh, I'm terrible at doing math in my head, but it could result in potentially hundreds of additional bookings a year. And just think about how much less time you would have to spend on other forms of marketing. If you could do a couple simple things to get these additional eyes on your website. So one, one thing I just wanted to back up a little bit, because Mm -hmm. this is also something that comes up a lot with my group. And that is, they feel like blogging is outdated. It's a waste of their time. It's not Mm -hmm. going to make an impact on their business. And they're much more into, I don't want to call it like shiny object syndrome, but like the sexy thing right now is like TikTok and reels. Um, But can you talk a little bit about how you feel like blogging has a place in content marketing in 2022, 2023, and if blogging will actually make a difference in our business and improving that search ranking, which like you said, we already know is very important. Yeah. So blogging is the core. It should be your website or blog should be the core of your content strategy because a couple different things. So I've been in marketing a long time. So we're going to talk about things that aren't necessarily SEO. You own your website or blog. You own your email list. You do not own your social media followers. So yes, TikTok is hot today. Clubhouse was hot last year. MySpace was hot before Facebook. Everything changes. So while TikTok's hot today, somebody else is going to be the darling next year. While Reels are awesome today, remember a year ago, nobody wanted to do them because we didn't want to dance and look like idiots. And now here we all are. Maybe we're not (laughs) doing them exactly like that, but you own your blog. You own your website. Those rankings can help you get people into your world Your social media is great for amplifying the content that you're writing. So the way I look at it, I use SEO and content together to craft my content strategy. And this is what I teach my students. We look for opportunities, content topics that our ideal customer are interested in. So we're going to talk about birthday parties for a minute. I used to work in the corporate office as the marketing manager for Pump It Up. So I'm sure your your students are going to know who that is. 10 years ago, I was the corporate marketing manager for all the franchises. So I know we live and breathe birthday parties. I also know that somebody who's going to have a party there is not the same mom who's going to have the party at home because we're never going to get the mom who wants to have the Pinterest perfect birthday party at home to come have it somewhere and pay the kind of money that we charge. Like my son's seventh birthday party was at a trampoline place. I am a working mom. I want to do as little as possible and make it the most amazing birthday ever for my kid, but I don't have the time to make the goodie bags and all the different things. So I'm looking for birthday party theme ideas. I'm looking for places to have unique birthday parties, super cool birthday party ideas for boys, all that kind of content. That can be a blog post. That blog post can then be multiple reels. If you've got three birthday party ideas, that's three different reels. If you've got five talking points, that could be five reels. It can be social posts. It can be a live training. There's so much that you can do with it. You want to center all of your content and your strategy on your website or blog and bring people back there. You want them to come get your opt-in. You want them to get used to coming to you. And then you can use that same content to craft your social strategy. 
All right, I hope you really enjoyed that clip of my guest expert training with Rachel, the former executive marketing director for all of the Pump It Up locations, which if you're not familiar, is an indoor playground franchise. So she knows what she's doing and I hope you continue to learn more about how to improve your business's search engine optimization. Again, all of the links for both my free and premium resources are below this video in the video description. And if you have any questions about any of my courses or programs or checklists or anything like that, my Instagram and all of my contact information is also linked below this video. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a profitable play tip. And don't forget to also subscribe to my podcast while you're checking out the links in the video description. So thank you to Rachel. Again, the full guest expert training is linked inside of Playmaker Society below. Have a great day, guys.